Alright everyone, welcome to L.A. Noir. Just listen to that smooth jazz, baby. This is a possibly possible playthrough. I played it when it came out, maybe, well, maybe six months after it came out, I borrowed it for someone. Uh, I played it for like a couple of hours and I never really played it again, <laughs> to be honest with you. So, uh, oh man, that music is sweet. And, uh, somebody suggested it to me. And also, I'd been watching, by coincidence, when the say a subscriber suggested it to me, I'd also been watching a shitload of um, a city gangster, of uh, the mafia documentaries. A city based not on the man, but on the automobile, the car, the symbol of freedom and vitality. Oh yeah. Where every man can own his own home and have room to breathe. Not be overlooked by his neighbors. The city where a man's home is his castle. A quarter acre of the dream made possible by victory. The city of opportunists. The city of dreams. Where Hollywood will shape the thoughts and desires of the entire planet. The city of pioneers. I'm sure I'm gonna get fucking done for this. Uh, the soundtrack is going on right now. I always like the way women look back then. I don't know why. I saw my freaky shit. I'm a freaky dude, man. A 20th century city that will become a model for the world. A city that has no boundaries. That will stretch as far as the eye can see. But there's a CD underworld. In the morale course, you deal with the chain of command. A sunball. Mistakes get made, but you deal with them. <laughs> you know what you're fighting for, and that you're on the same team. But dealing with corruption is like chasing shadows. You never know whether the guy you're talking to is on the path, or whether it's your partner, or maybe even the watch commander. So who do you trust, Cole? I made up my mind a long time ago. Hey, we've jumped in here as a second or some shit. 14 Adam, come in. Put the old Go ahead, and KGPL. Right and 14 Adam, see the detective of an ambulance shooting at 6th and Industrial Street. Get a 16 William request uniform assistance for an evidence search. 14 Adam, code 2. Roger, 14 Adam en route. Oh yeah, two seconds, man. Fuck's sake. Uh, good play. Just always put it in a different... Oh, there you go. Staying on. Good. I'll turn that down a wee bit. I always like to have the dialogue louder than the the what do you call it? The music and stuff. Anyway, let's go. Yeah, so I've been watching like a, I watched like a kind of overall like mafia kind of. How did I drive? Oh, Here we go again. They don't request uniforms for an evidence search. Move, motherfucker. Kind of catch. Ever the optimist. From the beam of sunshine himself. I've been watching, like, so I watched that first, and then I watched uh, about Al Capone. I watched about uh, Sammy Garvano, the guy that brought it, like, ratted out to John Gotti. I watched uh, Henry Hill. Floyd Rose, I watched, like, the Wives Mafia fish. Yes, sir. Phelps and Dunn, Wilshire Division. We had a shooting took place down this alleyway. We have the Vic, Scooter Payton, a Negro male bagged up and on his way to Central Morgue. Witness says a tall white guy, our shooter, put two in the Vic's head and then threw his piece. I need you guys to try and recover the gat. You want us to look anywhere in particular? Give it your best shot, guys. The dead guy's a low light. 
I'm not expecting any miracles here. And if we recover the weapon? Bag it and return it to technical services. You hurry it up, Floyd. We've got places here. to be. Happy hunting. Get your detectors at the big shots. This is a fist hump. Just going through the motions. Probably right. Let's just get it over and done. All right, have it your way. We'll search right up to the back wall. If you still don't come up with anything, come find me and we'll talk it out. Two heads are always better than one. Oh. Can be examined. Look at this junk. Mate, how do I examine some shit? Ah. What would have been handy if you said. Like <laughs> other people's trash. I pressed X and then it was like press press X to pick up an object. That would have been nice. Uh... So cool. Got, I'm assuming. Take a look at this. Alright, alright, for fuck's sake. Enough for the fucking. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, blood stain, that would be a bit more pertinent to uh, vibration. I always get landed with this crap. Let's take a look here. Shooter put him up against the wall and blew his brains out. Hell of a way to go. Doesn't really matter how you go once you're gone. <laughs> Don't get all deep on me, Phelps. Open notebook. We're never going to find it. It's a waste of time. Huh? Yeah, I know that. Fuck's sake. This is not a good. Can I press select? Just to take me right out of the menu and back up each time. Ralph, there's something on the rooftop. How the hell did you see that? A reflection in the window. Because I am a shit Looks like it might be our weapon. I'm gonna see if I can find a way up there. All right, don't hurt yourself. But I was watching them um, when I was watching the Dwarven Mafia one. She was talking about how she was watching Virginia Hill. She was the girl who used to go with Bugsy Siegel. And she was like, oh, there was nothing better. Like, I want to roof, become... Right? Uh, so we need to find a way yeah. up. Oh, fucking, obviously. And uh, she was like, oh, I didn't... All I wanted to be was, like, a mob mistress and all this kind of shit. And she was a total what fucking spazoid. Like, utterly incomplete. By the time she was um, 23, she had nine abortions. Can you imagine that shit? Smith and Wesson, serial S71893. How you doing, Cole? Found it yet? Two rounds fired, and instead of dropping it down a drain, our shooter hoists it up here. Interesting guy. I don't want to put it down, man. It's evidence. We should follow up on this now before the perp tries to leave town. We have the gun, Cole. Let's take it back to Central. We could get a commendation. We could show some initiative, Ralph, and see if we can come up with an owner. That's a long shot, Cole. It's a pretty fancy gun. You know a local gun store? Sure. There's a place a couple of blocks from here. <laughs> and it was funny because uh, when I was watching she was like, oh, mom, mistress, and she says, uh, Mafia guys make no the worst. The suits didn't seem Did to I miss a clue then? Is that what you're trying to tell me? You can't wait to get out of that uniform, can you? You'd rather round up drunks and help old ladies across the road? I'd rather get through the day Fuck without off. the captain's foot up my ass. It'll be fun. But, uh, so they make the mafia guys make the worst lovers because oh, they're thinking they just try to get it over with and thinking right oh I've got to kill a guy him I'm gonna kill him and all this bollocks and uh, but she was a total retard like she had a daughter and the daughter died from heroin because she was selling heroin with this other fucking scumbag I can't remember his name it's like Z Tony Tommy Zito or something like that.
I thought he was going to drive. But <laughs> it's, it's cool, I mean I love the Goodfellas, if you've never seen Goodfellas you need to watch that movie, it's an amazing but there was a... There seems to be quite the pattern emerges, fuck you, get in my way, I'm the police. There is um... If you don't become useful, because they say like, oh, code of honour, and you got to conduct yourself a certain way, or that, utter bollocks. Utter, utter bollocks. The only code is money. If you're not bringing in money, you fucking, you die. Like, the only reason they killed Bugsy Seagull, or the only reason, but, they killed Bugsy Seagull because they wasted tons of money, well, like, a few millions, building the flamingo. So, like, fuck it, we've got to kill him. Like, he wasn't going to grass, he wasn't going to... It wasn't high in drugs and being a risk, it was just like, nah, he spent too much money, let's kill him. He's fucking retarded. Oh no, 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 you did bitch. not just do that! Case fitness report, fuck off. I'm fucking... I'm a wild man. <laughs> I'm a rogue cop. For example, like Lucky Luciano. Can you tell us anything about this gun? Smith & Wesson, mm -hmm. Model 27, registered Magnum. Chambered for 357, nickel plated with pearl grips. Same gun used by General Pat. <laughs> You're not suggesting he's the owner? No, I'm not. You seem to know a lot about the weapon. I ought to. I sold it. You know this piece will stop a rhino. These babies are only available special order. Here's my Smith & Wesson order book. You mind if I take a look? This is about something bad, right? Model 27 with pearl grips, Cole. You see it on there? Uh, model 27, 26, 25. Oh, here we go. Not, not wall not rip. That's not what we want. We want a 27. There we go. We're in luck. Oh. Errol Schroeder, 203 South Glass Street. Ordered the gun in February 46. Thanks, you've been a big help. Anytime. Always happy to help out the LAPD. I tell him to go fuck myself. Do we call it in? Let's see if he's at home. Owning the gun doesn't prove he pulled the trigger. Okay. In for a penny, in for a pound. Lead the way, Gunga Den. I like Lucky Luciano, he basically was like considered to be the godfather of organized crime. I mean, it's weird though, because Al Capone uh, was taught by Torio to do the same kind of thing. Basically, like, unite all the Fuck, can I stop doing that way? To unite all the, the gangs, mate, get the fuck out of my road, I'm the polos. To like, unite all the gangs in order to like, split up the profits and stop all the fighting. Now that wasn't then, so hard, was it? Just because we're in uniform. But for some reason they call Luca Luciano. I guess so. Seems a little too good to be true. One of a kind murder weapon bought locally using a real name? If Schroeder's our shooter, he's no criminal mastermind. Most of them aren't. That's why they get caught. Two out of every three crimes are done on impulse. Another fact from the Phelps Encyclopedia of Thin Air. You really are full of them. Right, motherfucker, where's my map? Alright, let me just go down there. I think it's weird because he's saying that he's a godfather. But I mean, the thing is, the tutorial who taught Al Capone, that was like 15 years before, um, like Lucky Luciano. Because he, well, well, it's kind of close because it was going on kind of the same time. I'd say like Torio was just be was before, but it was from two completely different cities, so I don't know, you could kind of argue it.
But I would definitely say like Torio Tor was definitely the Godfather of organized crime. I mean, he taught. I mean, I think the only reason they call the Godfather like Lucky Luciano the Godfather is because of the scope of which, like, instead of like holding down a neighbor, what the fuck's this? Holding down like a neighborhood. Uh, basically, what would you call it? Uh, Lucky Luciano just went all out. Boss of the world was like wanting everything, whereas uh, Al Capone and that basically stuck to like a specific kind of area within Chicago, whereas Look at the GNL was all over New York. Alright, what is this shite hole? Pull coming through. Got gold handle doors allow you to enter. That's good to know. Schroeder. Apartment two. It, what? Number two. That actually looked pretty good. What do you guys want? I'm Open Officer the fuck Phillips. up. This is Officer Dunn, Wilshire Division. You're the owner of a Smith & Wesson Model 27, nickel plated with pearl grips? I might be. What of it? Then you'll be surprised to know that Scooter Payton was murdered tonight with your gun. You're out of your mind. <clears throat> Scooter, he works for me. I have that gun here in my drawer. What the fuck is going on here? You're under arrest, Schroeder. Cuff him, Ralph. No way. You're not taking me down for this. Oh! That he just took fucking knock my head off. Come on, motherfucker. Mm. 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 Box the shit out of you. Boom! Come on, and again, and again. Oh! Fucking eat shit. Oh, you wanna get back up you once more? Ralph. You all right? I'm fine. I hardly felt it. Oh, I hope that more of more that's to come. Guard. Keep an eye on him, Ralph. I'm gonna take a look around. Suspects. List of names and series of numbers. Floyd Rose's name is in this book. Phelps, we can come out of this all bright and shiny with a commendation. Or stick our schlongs in a hornet's nest. Call it in, partner. And leave the book where you found it. Officer Phelps, badge 1247. Helps us hungry, man. Look at these jack offs. Sons of bitches, get in this line now before I lose my temper. Excuse me, Sergeant, but. Excuse me? Fuck you! You say another word and I'll <laughs> break your fucking head and have you in the brig. Some of us are here for. I know why you're here, asswipe. I'm having a bad day, Private. Some people don't seem to want to get on this bus. I didn't ask for your help. He didn't ask for your help. Can you believe this guy? Who are you two? Abbott and Costello? We're here for OCS, Sergeant. So it's the three fucking stooges and you're here for OCS. God help this fucking country in the USMC. The Japanese will do the world a favor and kill you quickly. All three of you are on report. What are your fucking names? Phelps. Kelso. Merrill. Go fuck yourself. Any other gentlemen for OCS? OCS is at Elliot. You take the Camp Elliot bus over there. This bus is for MCRD. This bus is for men who want to fight.
Sorry, but nobody will ever beat Ali Ermi. And uh, I think it's Ali Ermi, that's his name. And what do you call it? What the fuck is that movie called? I can't believe I'm blanking on it. You know what I'm talking about. Well, you picked the right place, Cole. A city that needed an honest Captain cop and a thirsty man needed water. Full metal jacket. You'd heard the stories, but you weren't interested. You were here to fight the good fight. Solve cases, right wrongs. The force is like politics. There's no city on the fence. You have to choose Everything's sides. Everything's about politics. A brown paper envelope? Or a Greyhound ticket to Palookaville? It could only ever end. All units at 211 in progress and shots fired at Westlake Savings and Loan. 1415 West 3rd Street. Unit to handle identifying code 3. We'll take that. It's only a couple blocks from 14 here. Adam calling KGPL. We'll handle the 211. Roger that, 14 Adam. BFI suspects are armed and dangerous. Roger, KGPL. 14 Adam on route. Hey, let's click this iron man. I'm gonna fuck shit up. Jesus, can you not hear the fucking horn? Can you hear the siren? Move, motherfucker. Take it quick, you guys. The cops are here. We gotta move it. The sensitivity is a bit fucked up. We don't know how many are in there. Take it slow. Back Fuck up will be here soon. LAPD, put down your weapons. The bank is surrounded. I'm offering you Not a, a chance. To... chance copper. Stay down. What <laughs> oh, are the ranger in this in this bad boy? Ah, no. They pop for the inside of the shot. Oh, fuck. Should we reload? I'm supposed to reload. Stay I'm supposed to cover. reload. Hello. Whoa. Fuck, is he? Give me some cover. Oh. Bowen, son. We got them all? I think we got them, Cole. Should be all clear. No, between cover positions, let me try this. Oh, fuck. Lieutenant Hopkins says anytime you reach for the shotguns, you're either going to end up dead or wearing a citation. So I guess... It's okay, Ralph. You did well in there. I'm glad you had my back. Man couldn't ask for a better partner. Look at this guy. Take your nose out his ass cheeks. Jesus. This kind of opportunity comes along once in a lifetime, Hank. <laughs> I have to grasp it. You have to survive at first, Cole. Here are the veterans. The Japs love to shoot officers. If I can make a name for myself in this war, my future... Thinking of taking on a company of the Emperor's finest single-handed? You don't seem the Sergeant York type to me. When I need your opinion, Kelso, I'll ask for it. They talk about officers like you in boot camp, Cole. They call it the Custer Syndrome. Guys who go around dreaming of fame and glory and getting all of their men killed in the process. Our duty is to lead, Kelso. And their duty is to die for your wonderful future? My box is fucking full. Cole Phelps and Jack Kelso. 
With some people, it's as simple as chemistry. Two guys who should have been friends, but their personalities got in the way. Phelps, a good guy, wound way too tight. And Kelso, a quiet man who could never walk away from a fight. Well, it's a shame you don't like to talk about it, Cole. Ralph, friends who want to stay friends don't discuss religion or politics. In my case, you can add the war to that. I know that bum. Wendell Bowers. I put him away before he jumped for all. Get after him, Phelps. I'll head him off in the car. Wendell Bowers, stop! LAPD! You can go screw yourself. Alright, everyone, I think I'll stop it here. Uh, tell me what you think. Uh, I say because it was quite an older game, and uh, but I mean, you say it was just a coincidence that I ended up. But somebody suggested it, and I was watching a shit ton. So sort of giving this kind of nineteen forties feel. I don't know why. But anyway, uh, say tell me what you think. If you want to see more, let me know, and I'll certainly provide some more. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.